the Daily Talk Show, episode 569. Happy New Year. What's happening, guys? What's Hello. Going on? Uh, it's been a while. We didn't really talk much. Well, we, well we've, uh, we've been releasing shows, mm-hmm. but we did them last year because a couple of gronks need some time off. Mm-hmm. All right? I, I kind of did a bit of a hiatus. I didn't actively go on social media much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I had to look after the baby. What do you mean? A lot of the time. Like it's – so going from – As in Bodie or are you yeah, been talking yeah. – yeah. <laughs> And Amy. Yeah. Well, we've been up in Sydney mm-hmm. and what you don't realise is n- normal life for us isn't looking after the baby all day every day because he goes to daycare. So you get mm-hmm. this like – you think you're a great dad but you're just looking after your sure. kid on the weekends Did and putting him to bed each night. Did you call it like saying that you're babysitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's a gronk move. Uh-huh. Do not say that when yeah. it's your own child. Sometimes I say to Amy – Amy, look after your child. Mm-hmm. Like it, but I, it's just a bit of passive <laughs> aggressiveness. Um, but it, it's very consuming. But mm-hmm. yeah, I kind of got off and I um, was listening to a lot of spiritual, spiritual stuff. Mm-hmm. Getting right into it, I was loving it. But it was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, social media it was all talking about obviously the fires. Yeah. That are happening in Australia. If you're uh, not in Australia, you probably still have uh, heard about it. It is, it's like 12, what was it, 12, uh, how many acres? I think it's 5 million acres just in Victoria is burned and that's not New South Wales. So we drove up to Sydney and when we did, there was a bit of smoke. You could smell it on the way back though, which was only a couple of days ago. It was so bad. Like Mm -hmm. it was driving through thick smoke and where we stayed overnight, I sent you a picture Mm -hmm. and it was full on. Yeah. Like, so, so smoky. And then I hear that it's even in New Zealand. Have your family, Mr. Nicevs, can they smell the smoke in Auckland? Nah. Well, so they're in, they're in Christchurch. Christchurch. Nah, but I, I think I've seen photos of it on the top of, I think it's something Fox mm. Glacier, Fox Glacier or something like mm-hmm. that. And you can see it's like stained the snow and stuff, which is pretty full on. How many acres was the, uh, burnt in Black Saturday? Oh, I mean, that was n- no nowhere near as much as five million acres because it was just to Victoria. It was tw- 12 million, this, tw- as in this, this bushfire at the moment. Right now it was 12, 12, million. 12 million. Is that across, so New, across Z- New South Wales? And South Australia, I think. But the oh, um, Kangaroo Island. I mean, if, if anyone's been following any coverage, you're 100% going to get more from that than what we know. Yeah. But um, 820,000 acres was Black Saturday. Yeah. So it's great. Like so, when Far I was out. when I was growing up, I lived in um, Listfield South, and they had like um, we were amongst all the national parks, mm. and so you'd do all the like they would have the C- uh, CFA, the Country Fire Authority. The volunteers would come in and say like during a fire, you got to do this mm. and this. So you have a fire plan, yeah, for and, a suburban. And house. we had a um, we had a pool, and so they would. Um, they asked everyone, like told everyone that in in an emergency they would use your pool to like suck, fill the water it, out. suck yeah, all yeah, the yeah. water out. And um, I actually remember when there was a fire and I got footage mm. of the um, the helicopters. Yeah, the big bird, the, um, what is it, Hercules? Yeah, it's it was, like yeah, coming yeah. down and sucked some pool but water. But I just had no perspective on the whole thing because I was like, yeah. I sent it to Channel 7. I was like 15 and I was like, you guys need to pay me for the footage. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. real adamant. They were going to pay me 250 bucks. I never saw the money. They said that they were going yeah, to? Yeah, I don't know how, but I just felt like yeah. you don't follow that yeah, shit Yeah, I up. mean, this is an absolute fucking crisis. Mm. This is the biggest fires mm-hmm. Australia's ever seen, is it? Mm. Well, uh, John Howard was saying this is different from when he was in uh, Parliament mm. and but- the fires happened and he had to react to that. Mm. But I tell you what, Facebook, they're, they're, that donation mm-hmm. button, what a fucking game changer. Mm. There's so many pages. Quadlock have got a page that are up over $13,000 through their community. Mm-hmm. And so you're seeing like all these micro communities raising money and then the, the big one, Celeste Barber, who's mm-hmm. raised over $30 million. It's like in 24 hours, that's un- mm. over no, over two days she raised $30 million. It's ridiculous. It's, it's a weird one though because it's like what do you – you realise how ill-equipped you are to even respond or react to when things go pear-shaped, like well, one, feeling a little bit useless. 
Well, one thing useless people – not useless people, but one yeah, thing – what do we do? One thing people who might feel useless yeah. is just slam ScoMo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone is slamming that guy well, hard. There's, yeah, there's – um, it's interesting because, I mean, I don't understand all the sensitivities, So, but I'm just going to talk how I feel. There you go. It feels like potentially – like everyone's trying to like seek uh, comfort in – or like a lot of people are seeking comfort in blaming mm. – certain people for who, you know, it's like, uh, you know, ScoMo, it's all of the, uh, um, what is it called, the climate change type mm-hmm. stuff, which I get. But at the same time, I also wonder like uh, how pos- like what that does to communities. Mm. Maybe it's positive. Maybe it like forces ch- change. I was thinking like maybe being really full on about it and just, you know, saying, hey, you got blood on your hands, all that sort of thing. Mm. Maybe that's a mechanism to try and get the policy that should be in place. Yeah, I mean, or it's people thinking that by doing that is getting him to do the thing they thought he should have done at the start, which mm. I don't know what yeah. that is. Like, I don't know what he actually can do or well, what he's done now. Could he have done that quicker? That's the From a leadership point of view, even if, even if it was like, okay, state government mm. and all that sort of thing, like- He's. I don't think he's an empathetic guy. Like you, mm. uh, Amy saw, and she's very empathetic and has been crying. You know, like feels the pain of mm. what's going on. Just, I'm like, you got to stop watching. Yeah. Like that's at a point. Mm. She saw Scomo walk into this, you know, community where he's been shaking hands, and he shook all these people's hands. And he shook this one guy's hands. He, How's it all going, mate? You're right. Something like that. And then Scomo's wife went up and hugged him, and he burst into tears. Mm-hmm. It's like this is a guy that's not fucking mm. really feeling it or he's assuming some kind of stronghold position, which is bizarre. But I think if you're going to criticise ScoMo, at least go and donate as well. Yeah. So do two things, donate and criticise. Well, I feel like he's also a guy that he's a bit like me, maybe a bit awkward when it comes to working <laughs> out whether to hug, handshake or what to do. <laughs> Kiss or handshake. Yeah, because the, <laughs> the picking up of hands... To then shake their hand. Oh, is that no, what he was doing? Was so this, so it? yeah, a pregnant woman's there. So he's done. Oh my he's done God. like that. It was like super, uh, super weird. Dude, I don't wish that job upon mm. anybody. Mm. Having to do that. Yeah, no, but I don't wish the fucking you Fire. know like the fires and burning any, shit down. Oh, I mean, man. the thing is that yeah, it's a it's an interesting predicament because it's like um, yeah, you want to. What do you want? Like if you were in a situation where your house had just burnt down. Mm. What do you want? I, I don't know, some level of comfort to feel something other mm-hmm. than the pain you've just experienced. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't imagine it. I, I, I've been listening. I've been listening to ABC this morning on the way to work, and it's unbelievable. Here's so many different. One person saying the rains last night did nothing, and then mm-hmm. some guy saying, "Oh, it was amazing for this specific reason." Mm-hmm. And this person had a reason. It wasn't great, and so then you're hearing all these sort of just stories from everybody and there's so much nuance. I mean, it's so hard. I don't know. But also then I feel guilty because I get into this like critical mode. Like I definitely like do the stuff like donating and all that sort of thing, but then get in the critical mode of from a media perspective around social media and thinking about like, oh, how much of this content is legitimate? Like Mm. there's been so many cases where you see these like um, just the way that social media works, things just get picked up and you mm. could have an old photo that goes viral or whatever. It turns out it's mm. not. But I guess if it's a... Um, I mean, the one thing they're saying is w- they need cash. So mm. if you can donate cash, donate yeah. cash. Like it's then they were saying one showground in Victoria has too much things. Mm. They don't need things too anymore. Many things. Too many things. Yeah. And I don't know if that's for everywhere, but mm-hmm. if you've got cash, give it. Yeah. Like if you can give 50 bucks, mm. we donated 50 or 150 yeah, or something yeah. like that. Amy did it. But yeah. it's um that's all we can afford at this moment. Yeah. So if you can afford cash. I mean, there's always fuckwits coming out. That guy that was, you tell me, I said, oh, Pink donated $500,000. Oh, yeah, 97 was saying about this in the and shameless then, group. Mm. And then some guy said, what? Oh, it was it was something around like if you look at it as a, as a percentage of your net worth, Where? she's donated more or whatever. If that's what you find out of Pink mm. donating five hundred grand, you need yeah. to look yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Mm. Or if you don't have a mirror, but you can't buy one if you don't have the money. But do you think there is Go something? Go to a in- public toilet, look <laughs> yourself in the mirror. There's a. Um, it's weird because I reckon um, as much as the challenge of what's going on for the people who are experiencing the fires, 
I think that there's also this weird personal reflective thing that mm. I know that I do, which is like, oh, am I am I doing enough or should I be doing more or what does it mean that I think this way or do that or maybe like mm. should I be – I'm not necessarily angry. Should I be angry right now? Or should you feel anything because it, we're removed from it, right? We smell mm. a bit of smoke in the morning. Yeah. But we, we don't – I can't understand to the level mm. of – people who are in the communities, and this is when you speak to people, you understand. Yeah. So you feel, you, I, I feel for these people, but I don't feel like they feel. And so then you yeah. can go, I feel I feel guilty because I don't feel as bad as I should. But potentially. But that's where I donating my, is the thing. Yeah, but I, I then catch myself being like, oh, am I doing this? Like I wanted to post about it, but then I was catching myself. I'm like, am I just posting about it because I'm virtuing that I feel a certain way? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. I think at times where it's like this, mm. if you post about it and say donate, it's mm. like adding to adding a small thing to a huge mm -hmm. problem. So it's mm. like you can do a little bit through yeah. that. Mm. And so that's all you can do. If that's all you can contribute, it's better yeah. than just fucking bashing ScoMo yeah. and not donating. Like yeah. I don't think that's positive at whatsoever. Mm. Maybe the people that on the ground bash him hard. I was <laughs> thinking that we need to – so I was like I started to think about what are our – what do we have? What can we mm. offer? I was thinking that it could be interesting to get people on that can, and maybe this is already happening in the media, but like explain certain things. So one question I have is it's like, is this, are these fires worse than anything that we're like? So obviously the climate change stuff, like the heating mm. of the earth is a, a factor but fire has always happened, right? Fire happens to like regenerate like forests and all mm. that sort of thing. What I struggle with is like the hopelessness of, so if we do all of those, if we do all of the the um, the stuff in regards to climate change, which we should 100% do, are we still fucked? Mm. Yeah, I heard Sevs, are we fucked? It's not because yeah. we can't reverse it. We're just slowing the destruction down, isn't it? Yeah, well, this, uh, I think I can't remember when the, when the cutoff. Like, I I, th I think it's already like mm -hmm. past the point where we can. Yeah, you get you have to invent some technology to sequester the carbon out of the atmosphere. Mm. So, or plant heaps and heaps and heaps of trees, or grow seaweed and all that sort of stuff. But, because, the, but the thing is, say the planting of the trees. This is coming from a full dummy, but isn't the th isn't part of the whole strategy of stopping fires that you need to, like you have burn offs. So around like the just, national they're park. Not just, they're not just burning down forests. They're burning down areas where the fire could jump or mm -mm. spread through paddocks where it will come to and stop. And, mm. and so it's not just like in the Danny Longs, let's just yeah. fucking tear this joint down mm. with a bit of fire. So they get, yeah, we need plants to create the CO, the um, oxygen in the air. Mm. And so I get what you're saying, mm. but it's a but it'd be good to have people. Thing. I think it, like in 2020 we could have more experts. More experts. I'm also interested in maybe the the less political. I know uh, Ruth McGowan's not going to be happy with with this, but the less politicized versions potentially, if they exist, maybe mm. people are screaming at me because it's mm. got to be political. But I wonder about like everything in regards to, say, for instance, like the ScoMo stuff. Even though I think he's a bit of a dweeb. I don't I I see that stuff as like personal bashing mm. and a bit of a like you know he does the promo video with like music or whatever and Batuta Advocate and all that sort of stuff are doing really mm. funny sort of parodies and satire around it but I I wonder how much it's actually serving mm. the main cause or what? if yeah I mean it's attention right so mm. if it's drawing eyes onto it because you could easily go uh, the media have got a great angle mm. on this PM who's done fuck all. That's an amazing in, right? They keep pushing it. It's on every front. You know, it's sh vision. We got the grab of a guy pulling up in the truck yelling out, fuck you, ScoMo. Mm. Like, it, it was amazing. I yeah. was like, oh, my God. That yeah. was so – that guy, did you see yeah, that guy? Yeah. Are you in the media? Yeah. 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 Fuck you. It's fuck you, ScoMo. And then yeah. Poon's off. I was like, yeah. we got it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Like, I was thinking in, as a media person. Yeah, yeah. They're getting like, the – Got the grab that's going yeah, yeah. Uh, 6 p.m. on the dot. Yeah. People are going to love that. Uh, 97. And so, and so that, yeah. But does, does the media's push to bash that guy mm -hmm. actually promote the – 
epic nature of what has happened, mm -hmm. which brings more eyeballs to help around the world. People are donating. People, other people around the world are bashing ScoMo. So it's like that's bringing attention to the fires. And and then you have I don't know, all these that other. Maybe it is. And then you have these things of like people versus animals. And then you've got like okay, like the wildlife stuff need to do all that sort of thing. Mm. You got people that are dead as well. Like it's extra. Mm. Like I've, I've found it. Um, quite an interesting time of just like reflecting personally where it's like uh, if it does feel a little bit doomsday. Man, when news.com.au, you go there and there is a top, it says toll, death toll, and it's mm. like in red and so it's updating. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm, I went back and I was like, oh, is that gone up? Mm -hmm. It's like some sort of gamification mm. of this shit. Like I get what the news are trying to do, spread information, but at that point it just becomes like this – thing you're looking to or like keep refreshing, keep refreshing because mm. it's – they're the people – the people who can't do anything physically are just refreshing and seeing that. Yeah. Uh, no, he says on Facebook Live for people mm. writing. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Bianca said, um, uh, thank you for having this conversation, guys. If we all contribute a tiny bit, it helps. Personally, the brands I'm working with, we're working on overhauling our sustainable practices and the responsibility we have – despite budget constraints we all have. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think that the, from a community perspective, the thing that has surprised me is the amount that small businesses and businesses in general mm. are doing. And I think it definitely, uh, other businesses doing that has made me think about what more we could do. Mm -hmm. um, I think the other thing too is around like, um, so there's the financial side of things. And then I, I always feel like I have more skills to offer than cash. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a, that's a good, I think a good way to look at it. Cause you're going, what can I do? Share mm -hmm. it on you. Like you're going, I can, I can, we charge a lot of money for video. Mm -hmm. We do this, that. It's like, how can we use our audience or yeah. use that? And so that's where you're going. I think that's mm -hmm. the right thing to do. It's not over. It's like yeah. it's not the next two days that we need to work this out. It's like, well, two months time. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be fire, like ruined towns. Yeah. So when that I need was new tourism, when I was working at the fire brigade in the media department, it was just after Black Saturday, mm -hmm. and so we made internal documentaries where we went up to Marysville and spoke mm -hmm. to to people. And I think that yeah, that's the um, the area that I think that we can play in as a show and as a business is, and you've spoken about it as well, mm -hmm. going there and creating content, going to like doing a Fat Fridays from mm. a from a pub. Or getting cash back into the economies mm. that are that are the backbone of these little towns. Yeah. Like they don't survive if they don't mm. have the bakery, the news agents, the pub, mm. the you know, farming. It's like some of these places that's what they are. But also I think the other thing too, which uh you know is pretty sad is that some of these places like they won't ever be the same ever again. Mm. And so it doesn't matter the amount of, like if you look at Marysville, like visiting Marysville, uh, it is significantly different mm. to, you know, pre the fires. There was, uh, it felt like when I had visit, visited there last, it sort of felt like it lost something, which is the people because a lot of the people either died mm. or they moved away. Like there was a lady, Lynn, who had a um, had the bakery on the corner and she was had the only place that like had stayed up during the fire. Yeah. And so how do you operate? Mm. How do you go back to work when all of your friends and neighbours have mm. died or had their buildings burned down? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's such a hard one. Mm. Samantha, um, Samantha says if you're tight on money, you can also donate blood. Yeah, yeah. Which is always good to do. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I think that's a good one. I was um I was thinking we could do that as a show. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Get it all done. Mm -hmm. Uh I, I, I once went there and filmed and stuff. So you get there's media departments. Mm -hmm. We can actually get yeah. do a show from there. But we do have blood. We do we can have definitely blood. get around that. Yeah. Um Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's uh yeah, it's definitely the longer term stuff that I think is is interesting too, but potentially because it feels like we can make a a longer – it plays into the cynicism potentially that we can all have, which is like, oh, what am I doing? Is this really having mm. uh, value? Whereas doing it down the track, it's like, no, this is like once everything's blown over and it's not in the news every day, 
being able to keep the conversation going mm. and providing support. Yeah, and looking for that opportunity to help mm. where you can because, mm-hmm. it yeah, it will continue. Um, how was your break though? Did you uh, – Yeah, it was, you said uh, we didn't – we didn't all talk. I mean, you guys fucking love a good FaceTime together yeah. in the <laughs> well, shower. It was, but I was happy to did just... you say in the shower? <laughs> I was happy to just disconnect. Yeah. No, I um, oh, I spent so much time reading the news. Did you? Just the... Just, CNN? Watching yeah, CNN? Yeah, no, just like the world news. I was getting like... Um, went down a rabbit hole with all the Iran stuff. Oh, I heard that on the radio this morning. It's the first know, time I consumed the news really? and it's... Hearing about the bombings of that yeah. guy who died, the mm-hmm. yeah, the assassination. The, it was like the second guy in charge. I need to die. General. Lino. It was like a general. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it sounds um, fucking bad. Well, what they're talking about yeah. like they're like, I listened to a translation of this guy speaking, and like it was about to the US or whatever. Yeah, you got. We didn't start this new mm-hmm. kind of war. You did. Like, mm-hmm. Fuck. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Like what I've been trying to do is read up all like the history. You remember I bought those books on Iran? Oh, that's right. Why uh, Iran? Why did you buy them on Iran? Well, because I love Persian food. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a Persian joint in Berlin. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, Mas- yeah no, Mas- I've, been there. Square? I've been there. Yeah, yeah. It's quite um, expensive. Okay. But it's, yeah. Yeah, it's good. No, but it's not like sort of like street sort of thing. It's definitely like restaurant, like get dressed up sort of thing. Oh, yeah. But um, Get your rod and gun on and yeah, head down. Exactly. But they, um, uh, what do you say? <laughs> I thought you were do, you're gesturing something. It just no, reminded no, no, me no. of the Ventra IP. Mentioned. No, no, that's all good. I won't do it yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a Ventra. I'm doing a live read of a Ventra IP. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so you, you, what are you doing? You read, <laughs> Why is 97 laughing? I don't know. I wish we had the camera on Sevs right now. <laughs> he's, he's red as a beetroot. <laughs> Can we um, get a temperature check? The, red um, as a beetroot. The... Oh yeah, no. So, so the Iran stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no. So my my mate Nasan uh, is Persian, and so his family, uh, uh, like they're all Baha'i by faith, and um, Baha'is are persecuted in Iran. Mm. Iran in 1979 had an Islamic revolution, Mm. and um, but basically before that, and this is what I'm learning about at the moment, there was a Shah, which is like a king that was put in place by, I think, the US and Britain. Mm. And um, basically, yeah, there's all these things happen. But um, so I'm learn, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about that because it seems like uh, they're talking about things like going to war. Mm. And I feel that from an empathetic point of view, I want to understand the country that, like, if if the US is going to war, it's sort of safe to say that, like, we go to war. Uh, yeah, we go to I war. Yeah, hundred percent. That's yeah. the, and so the fucked up bit. So we based, got the alliance. Yeah, and so based on that, I'm like, okay, well, what about if I just learn as much as I can about this country, mm. and then gain a perspective on what the deal is? Yeah. Um, so I've been doing that. So I've been reading into books. That. I've been using the uh, my Kindle a lot. Been using the highlight function. Should you leave your house? I mean, no, nah, actually, if you really? look at no, you went friends, for a few walks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 10,000 steps. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Couple of walks. 10,000 steps. Uh, was uh, it was it hot here? Because it was 40 degrees plus in Sydney where I was out in the west. Mm. So, so there probably was two hot. It was so full on, dude. Two or three hot days. Mm. So full on. It was just ridiculous. New Year's Eve was hot as hell. Was it hot here? You guys were oh, partying. No, no, it wasn't, wasn't no. crazy. I oh, do no. 43 degrees in Sydney. Really? Really? Yeah, on New The hottest Eve. thing was the queso. <laughs> What's uh, that? Gemma, it's uh, cheese. Cheese? It's melted cheese and you, you, we had you corn chips. Chorizo. Chorizo's in there as well. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. delicious. It was very, uh, chorizo? Chorizo? Definitely chorizo. Chorizo? No, I was, at a par- I was at a Christmas party and they called mm. it chorizo. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> really? You can have the chorizo <laughs> sausage. Paella. <laughs> paella. I call it paella. I mean, the, the fancy ways, paella, or yeah, however yeah, you do it. So uh, what about choosing your word? Mm-hmm. We spoke to Jason Fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've actually seen a bunch of people talking about this choose one word for the yeah. year. I've seen Mamma Mia must have done something about it. Yeah. I was, Jason Fox is the OG, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I was. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Jason Fox. Jason's been talking about it for a long time. Yeah. I have He's had about seven say. words. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seven years. So my word of the year is uh, quality. I like it. Quality relationships, spending quality time on things, when buying something, buy quality rather than quantity. So that means 
you know, not buying fast fashion. Yeah. I mean, you only buy a few things, so it's good. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. And so the other, like, what would other quality things be? Uh, yeah, like quality, um, oh, definitely around quality time around, like, my phone use. I like it. So if you're choosing to spend your time doing something, whatever mm-hmm. it is, it has to be worth Worth it because you can't get it back. I we like should it. actually look at screen time. Oh, yeah. Mine's low as fuck. <laughs> Dur- yeah. During the break. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Then we'll get to Sev's word. Uh, so I'm, this is – the reason I know that mine was low is because I looked at it and I thought – because I needed to find out the exact time mm-hmm. for something and I was like, oh, that is low. i got to go back a few weeks when, I, when we were working. Anyway, before we get to the screen time, I wanted to thank our web host – who keeps our oh, yeah. website up? Right. Ventra IP definitely isn't us. Uh, they, exactly, they're a hundred percent Australian owned and operated, twenty four hour uh, service. The great thing, seriously, um, with Ventra IP, ninety seven actually calls them. How many times have you called them? <laughs> yeah, okay, if you <laughs> you're really abusing that. You literally well, says, "Ah, oh, just call them, just call them, just the call the boys." Call yeah. the boys. Yeah. Our call, package call has twenty four hour support. Yeah. And calling the team. You've definitely tested it yeah. thoroughly, yes. and they offer twenty four hour support. Yeah. Well, you know what? When 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 our when we had a few website troubles a while ago, mm-hmm. I was literally self inflicted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this button won't do anything. No, I, I was. Uh, there was there was one night where I was where I was waiting for our website to come back online, and it was literally like three a.m., four a.m. in the morning. Mm. And it was still replying. Yeah, still they're and so they were in there doing it. Yeah, like literally in Melbourne. In, they're Dude. based in Melbourne, and so when you call them, you speak to someone from there. Yeah, uh, they're the Australia's largest privately owned provider of web hosting and domain name mm. services, which is huge because there's not that many web hosts. Like if if you go to any of the other ones, they're mm. owned by a couple of big international ones and they're all sort of Yeah. Don't say their word. Don't huh? say. Don't say their names. Yeah. But they're but they're they might seem great at the start, some of the international ones, the common ones. Mm. But when shit hits the fan, oh, dude. being able to like call and get yeah. it sorted, you it's don't realise until the offshore thing happens. is and it can be a massive curse. Mm. And so when you have people that Mister Nine Seven can mm-hmm. annoy, what were you fucking <laughs> doing up at four AM anyway? Oh, this was when we were doing the whole transition. You're but, an animal. Um, You're an animal. Uh, but if you go to ventraip.com.au, so it's ventra v e n t r a ip.com.au use the code tdts at checkout and you get 50 percent off shared web hosting on plans up to 12 months Fuck yeah. excluding renewals um my average <laughs> do you, know, time? Do you yeah. want me to do it yeah so you go first your heart sink what is this for which week daily average f- just from now backwards oh no because that's two days it goes for oh my god oh my god i think apple think that a week a, a week starts on a sunday Perfect. Because they've put oh, Sunday. Yeah, they yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, this no. is, great. <laughs> this is annoying. Knows what's up. Okay, should I go back, see all activities? Should I go back the week, one week ago? you going last I, week. Yeah, I'll just swipe backwards. So, cool. So, last week, average. So, last week's average, yeah, Grant? Four hours and 20 minutes. What was your Sebs? Four hours and one minute. Okay, you guys are <laughs> pussies. Uh, mine's seven hours, 46 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what was your biggest day? Um, it was like a Monday. Oh, uh, mine's actually not fair because mine biggest day was nine hours forty seven, but oh, if you, uh, three hours of it, three and a half hours was Google Maps, which I reckon that would have happened with you as well. Yeah, definitely. Can you swipe back one more week to see what it is? Yeah, because mine was only three hours and twenty six. Five minutes. hours two two minutes. Okay, so that was over Christmas, so mm. we definitely everyone settled down. What did you get, Sevs? Hang on, give me a sec. I just went out of it. Okay, I could imagine it's similar to mine. What is your... Uh, this is for the week prior, yeah? Oh, yeah. I like this. The waking up app. So, the meditation app was second from the top in that. Oh, that's good. Oh, Safari, week. 10 hours and 11 minutes for the week. What are you doing, mate? How much How no, much sit, don't, hang sit on, down wanna, time are you doing? What are you... The, oh, here we go. The Verge, 53 minutes. Really? Yeah. Google, 46 minutes. <laughs> Messages three hours and six minutes. Instagram nine hours. What's your so my daily uh, daily average of Instagram is one hour forty one. When now or so this is just daily average. Oh, that's for the week. For the week, think, yeah, yeah. thirty seven minutes. One forty one. Yeah, 
Mm. What's yours? 115. Okay. That's not too bad. So, mm. Savs, have you got a word for the year? Have you done some digging? Trying to work yeah, it out? You know, I mean, have no, have it's, it no, it's it's two words. It's lean in. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cheryl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Start going to start calling you Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's... Uh, Cheryl's a real Aussie name Cheryl, for someone Cheryl. who's in the Silicon Valley. Yeah. Cheryl, Cheryl Sandberg, who we're, we're referring to. No, but I, th- I think it's it's just more around uh, le- leaning into discomfort a little bit more, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did a little bit of it last year, but it's there was still a lot of hesitancy in doing so. So, I think, uh, yeah, l- leaning into those experiences a little bit more... Um, and then, I mean, then there's also the the thought around like, I mean, like per- perfection and all that sort of stuff. I think leaning into being a bit quirky and being okay with it, with things not being perfect, is yeah. I think that's another. So what's your quirk? Area. What's, what's, if, what's if the quirk? You're quirky. What are, what are your quirks? Well, I mean, no. Well, it's it's just like if you if you say something in a conversation or something like that, mm-hmm. it's not. It's being like, okay, that's that's just what it was like you don't have to think about being perfect but maybe like the quirk stuff uh i mean so, some of the tech stuff is a bit of fun leaning into that a little bit okay what does that mean technology well, yeah well i mean I, over the break I was, I was sort of playing around with like a bunch of sms stuff this is for the club yeah oh great yeah I but it's, it's like it's like quite dialed in like there's a bit of like a Auto like robot sort of AI. Can we give people the it. text number now? No, not now. Why? What would happen? Well, it's still on. It's still on the trial account, so we just need to start paying for oh, it. Otherwise, oh, he's it's... booked in that meeting to talk about <laughs> us paying for it, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. So what does that? What does it mean if we gave well, the okay, number well, now? Well, so it's it's uh, number one. It's I've, I've only I've only baked it in so these responses will work. Whereas it needs to learn that these are the other potential responses that it give us. Uh, no one knows what you're talking about. Explain. Uh, so, uh, say for example, the question is, "What club would you like to be a part of?" So, someone texts a number. A number. Yep. And then what happens? Uh, so, I mean, there's a whole flow chart. You text like <laughs> TDTS to this number, and it says, "Hi, what's your name?" or whatever. Uh-huh. You enter your name, and it's like, and great, so we're where does super it fall excited. over? So at the moment, it says- replies. So say so. Eventually, you go down and they ask you a question, and the question is, "Which club do you want to be a part of?" Mm-hmm. And so, it has to recognize a, variations. Yeah. So it could mm. be the Adventure Club, Tommy's Club, uh, mate, Josh's Club. Do you know what you need to do that will make it easier? What? Which one of the clubs would you like to do? One, two, or three? Yeah, but and then you have to pick one, two, or three. It's easy. Nah. So then they have to just select it and say one, two, or three back rather than writing Tommy's Club because if they don't do the – if say if they write Tommy's Club instead of Adventure Club or they use an apostrophe or don't, it might mm. not go through. Yeah. I mean, that's where the AI is meant to apparently help. And so how do we incorporate the AI? Well, I mean, I think, I think it's baked into the program that I'm using, but I haven't really explored it that much. Right, we're losing people on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> I am leaning into the tech stuff. No, it's good. Oh, no, yeah. Leanless. Yeah. No, no, no. So, I lean like it. Give it a crack. And so, have you That's, got a word? Uh, so, I, I, um, the word that I, I don't know if I'm sold on it yet, mm-hmm. is adventurer, ah. which relates very much to the adventure adventure club. Bree's l- word last year was adventure. Was it? Yeah. Great. So, are you sure? <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. That was Bree's word for this year. Oh no, she can't have it because <laughs> she she said she said I want to go out more. Oh really? Yeah, she I want to go out. Have, no, we can have the same word, Bree. It's all yeah. good. Well, mine's adventurer, like it's a like a it's a person. Because I've got the adventure club and the adventurer, the adventurer. Because if you look up adventurer synonyms and whatnot, brave <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> all right, Jason Fox. Oh, no, no. Oh, what oh? <laughs> <laughs> if you look it up, um, brave. Is one thing, and so it's like it, and it, from adventure mm-hmm. comes stories, and it's about this journey. And so it's like a year. I thought, you know, you find lots of stories when you are on adventures, and mm-hmm. it's kind of like leaning into it heavily. Take Mister Ninety Seven's word, <laughs> bit of that, <laughs> yeah. bit of quality, bit of adventure. So adventure, leaning into quality adventures. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good title. For today's app. No, there's something. Uh, there's a adventurer that I just discovered named Lev. Lev? Levison, I think his name is. What's Lev do? He um He didn't row across the Levison Wood? Yeah. Fuck you're quick. 
It's a British Army officer and explorer. Extended walking expeditions in Africa, Asia, and Central America. Walking the Nile, walking the Himalayas. Mate. Interesting, dude. So, on my Iran obsession, yeah, I watched a four-part four doco series called Russia to Iran, and it's him going through. I'm very walking, uh, yeah, hiking. Sometimes going on horse. Amazing. Oh, how cool is that? And so I think that you'd get right into this guy. Um, we Mark, need more adventurers on the show. 100%. Uh, my mum's yogi teacher, Margaret Zagesman, she passed away many years ago, but I'm reading a book at the moment, The Most Amazing Story, lost her, lost her fiancé when she was 20, got tuberculosis, lived up in the Alps to try and help her lungs and heal, lost three quarters of her lungs, so had one quarter of lung capacity, then found found relaxation. While she was in the Himalayas. Yeah. No, oh not in the Himalayas, in the Alps. Oh, in the so Alps. You go up higher and it does, it's like. What's the fucking difference? Uh, well, yeah, I mean. The Himalayas are a region. She wasn't. She was in yeah, the yeah, Swiss yeah. Alps or like Switzerland somewhere. Anyway, she went to the Himalayas, I think, because she went over to India and she she hitchhiked from Switzerland through and got to India and she lived in the mountains for seven years meditating and, and then wow. she, you know, like amazing adventure and then got on a boat to come to Australia and then landed in Melbourne and grew a yoga school to 30,000 students. My mum was one of the yoga teachers in her school in Melbourne, the Gita school. Mum is mentioned in her book a bunch and in her, um, in the Gita school book. And yeah. And anyway, that's like, a, what a story. That's an adventure. Like, and so there's a so what's some adventures that you could go on. Uh, yeah, I walk think- from Bulling to Abbotsford. <laughs> right, it all starts there. I skateboarded back from the bus stop the other day <laughs> yeah. when I left Mason. No, but there's, I think that's what, like camping is, is an adventure. Mm-hmm. Have um, you got a tent? Yeah, we've got a two two person tent, just tiny. I got a three person tent. All so right, hero. <laughs> Do you or does your nah, dad? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I think there's. I've got my own like um, bag though. Yeah, hiking bag. There's an. Oh really? Yeah. Adventurers. There's no certainty, or they don't. There's. They they're throwing caution to the wind. There's you know there's a high mm-hmm. chance they don't they don't have all the answers sure. to what they're going to experience. They can understand, but they don't know. So that's I think life, yeah. business, family. It's like you just have you leaning into it. <laughs> So is there anything that we could – because I was thinking about it. I had this moment uh, during the break where I'm like, 10 years of the show. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, we've only got eight left. Yeah. Yeah. In, in one month. On, the, six, no, this on month. the 16th of January, it's yeah. our two-year anniversary. So we've got eight years left, boys. So I was thinking, though, I'm like I was watching – uh, what's his name? Lewison Wood? Uh, Levison Wood. Levison, sorry. I was thinking, man – what do I love? Uh, what do you love? Walking. Walking. Thanks. Yeah. I was like, I would love to be Leveson. And walk where? <laughs> Anywhere. What about uh, someone I, ro- I want on this podcast at some point? Um, oh my God. Oh, my Atomic. God. What was that? Yeah, I had ravioli for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Leveson. Um, <laughs> you say all right, Leveson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can funny. imagine that wouldn't happen to Leveson? <laughs> no, Leveson's not as lean as you'd think. Isn't he? Re- Really? Uh, Mike Posner. Oh, I want yeah, him yeah, on the yeah. podcast. I've started following ASAP. him on Instagram. I love him. I've watched him go from just this Bitten by cool a snake. dude, LA cat, got sing, you know, amazing music, mm-hmm. real amongst the Hollywood scene to then sort of like moving well past that and walking across America and he got bitten by a rattlesnake yeah. at one point and he's just he very spiritual, creating beautiful music now and and he's an adventurer, hundred percent. Like so he's doing we, it, dude. And he I said like he walking, wanted to do it. He said I wanted to walk across America for many years. I found every excuse why not to. Which is fair. There's a lot of old reasons is he? why How he's old's Mike? younger than us. He's is he? Oh, that's us. annoying. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. He's 31. my age. He's fun. Yeah. So he's yeah. older than me. My age. He's probably made quite a bit of cash from his music. Yeah. So he's not having to work. Do you, here. This is but the thing. If you, vag- just, if you read Vagabonding, there's a. The first chapter, he talks about how um, uh, how much like someone says, "Oh, I want to uh, uh, travel on a motorbike mm. around China, uh, so I need to save up heaps of money." And then Rolf's like, "Mate, he didn't say mate because he's American." He's like, "Bro, uh, 
you only need like six grand and you could do it X, Y, and Z. And mm. if you just work like three months in your cleaning job, you can start doing it. Mm. But I was just thinking with Levison, I was like, man, he's, uh, he's getting to do all these hikes and stuff. Mm. It would be good to build some into the show eventually. I'm not saying oh, this yeah. year, but it would be good to do like Kokoda, to do yeah, Walk Across Australia. I don't know. Yeah, I love this. Um, what about bikes? You Cycling. can ride. You can ride a bike. Yeah, I've our got mates a bike. at Curve. Yeah, cre- they sell some of the best bike packing bikes. Oh, available. yeah, that'd be great. I prefer that over walking. Well, One you, the thing live is, you, read you can an get, app, guys. <laughs> you can get a bit further on a bike than walking yeah. in a day. That's what I do like about it. If we were to venture off somewhere, and you're not going to have like blisters and yeah. all those sort of issues. And the great thing is, they're local. 24 hour support. <laughs> no, that's like Venture, Venture IP. IP. <laughs> yeah. no, Venture, no, if you need a web host, Venture IP. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know what a ven- web host is, if you want, if you ever want to build a website, you need a web host. Yeah. So basically, it's like they've got all these computers in Melbourne that are attached to the internet. Mm. And so when you go to the dailytalkshow.com, it's not 56K modems, mate. It connects a bit quicker than that. Pretty sure they have like 10 gigabit. <laughs> Networks. I wonder, so I wonder, oh, dude, I, you would be one hundred percent. Could we do a li- could we do a live show from the data from, center? From the data center, Mate, I'd love that. We could do that because we would. That. Could you imagine the speed? <laughs> <laughs> like we could live stream every bloody yeah. platform possible. Um, at a Christmas party, I was talking to uh, Amy's uh, Amy's best mate's partner, and he's got a real estate firm, and he told me that at his business, a thousand up and down. Well, that's thousand. good. A yeah. gig up and down. Yeah, for a real estate agency. That's I don't know. It's <laughs> overkill, isn't it? 700 plus dollars a month. A lot of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> 700 Is that plus. what he said? Yeah, he yeah said. it's about that. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah. I wonder Eddie. what they're using it, why they need such <laughs> no, speed. They're doing know. a lot of content. Quick emails. Yeah, quick, quick emails. Quick emails. <laughs> Lots of Facebook <laughs> campaigns. Yeah, yeah. Selling houses. No, I I definitely dream of the time of <laughs> that sort of speed. Let's dream no, big, I'm with you on that. Dream big. You too? Dream big. Dream that thousand megabit. Ten, uh, right? It's a it's a daily talk show. Years. But if you've got any idea, oh fuck the Facebook group. We haven't spoken about it yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you uh, if you want to get involved with the Gronk Squad, we've set up a Facebook group. You can just type in the Daily Talk Show on Facebook, and uh, you see our likes page, and you also see the group. Yeah, and so the group is facebook.com forward slash groups oh, forward slash the Daily Talk Show. I need to, I need to ask you something. Yeah, because I just got invited to my own page for a while. I wasn't invited. You're an admin. Before that, I was just. I think Mason asked if I wanted to join. I was like, yeah, I'll join my own bloody podcast. <laughs> well, group. we weren't ever, right. I had no friends on Facebook, so I had to add you. Yeah, true. I did say that. But then I still don't know what the question is. You've put some question where if you it's, ask to join, you need to questions. answer a question or who two is, questions. Two who, questions. Is, who is Queen Gronk? Yeah. Okay. Gemma Watts? Yes. That's the answer. Yeah, but I, don't, I haven't been able to find the question. So, number one, that's the question. Oh, really? Then, Does it hide them or something? I can't see anyway. Yeah, because I accepted him without. Oh, him yeah, because you know you, at, you invited me so you don't have to. So if you invite people, you don't have no, to no, answer no, no. the, the question. page or the group? The group. The group. If okay. you get invited, you don't have to answer it. Like Amy didn't have to answer the no, question. No, that's because I accepted her, I think, before. Oh, okay, okay. So if you see people, it's like I was very strict at the beginning <laughs> and 97's like, why are there so many? Like, are you, you went so hard on me. I'll let two people in. Yeah. Dude, there's already people in there that <laughs> want to get in and we're just leaving yeah, them there's, hanging. There's three people. But they, didn't, they might not know. So the one question is... Who is Queen Gronk? What's the other question? Uh, when did you, it, yeah. yeah, when did you start listening? When did you start? Okay, great. Easy, pretty easy question. Yeah. The Gronk one, the Queen Gronk, mm-hmm. maybe, yeah. if you've just hum- somehow missed it. But now if you're listening to this, you've got mm-hmm. it. And so please uh, get behind the group. Grace has got behind the group. Yeah, Grace, Grace did, yeah. 100% support. <laughs> and also the the great thing about Facebook groups is you get badges and things for your support. So I got a, uh, I got a visual storyteller badge. Okay. <laughs> And so, um, and you don't. <laughs> and so that's good. So if I post things that are photos, that's why, because I'm a visual yeah. storyteller. Yeah. Anyway, that was given to me through Facebook. Okay. Um, but you can join there. Also, again, uh, Venture IP, if you need a domain name, web hosting, go to ventureip.com.au. It's Ventra, V-E-N-T-R-A, IP. And if you want um, some shared hosting, which is a, uh, Good for um, if you're like setting up a website, want to set up WordPress mm. or whatever, you can do it, do it through that. If you use the code TDTS 
at checkout, you can get 50% off. So that's pretty good. Uh, they also, they've also mentioned if your business is affected by the bushfires, mm-hmm. uh, let them know and they'll waive your hosting for the month of January. Oh. It's amazing that businesses are doing that. Dude, um, Bermagui only just got com- communication restored today and their water's out, mm. so they have to boil water. Like, So there's a, a free MBN they're offering mm. for a lot of these areas. And yeah. that's, like, that's good. Yeah, it's great. There's one that's, little I mean, cost. that's the good thing about like, what I love about like the – small Australian mm. businesses mm. and like Ventura is by no means small mm. now, but they've, um, it's great that uh, businesses are doing that sort of thing. Mm. Anyway, it's uh, a daily talk show. Join the group. Yeah. I'm going to just say that instead of uh, email now. I don't, don't send this. Join the group. Yeah, yeah. Join the group. And uh, also if you enjoyed the podcast, leave us a five star review on Apple podcast. Cause we haven't had a single review since <laughs> the end of November. Oh, ouch. So that's so seven. Got anything yeah. to say about that? Uh, no, I mean we got we got an email though. Oh, oh Jesus, mate. It from? Th- it's from Ian. Really contradicting oh, yeah, what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> or was this Ian's last not November? Happy. Ian's, Ian's not, not happy. happy. Oh jeez. Just catching up on the Christmas period episodes and conversation on ep five hundred and sixty one got my attention. Mr. 97, what will you be doing when you are really old? 50 plus, Josh asked. <laughs> Firstly, when the fuck did 50 plus oh. become really old? Uh, Ian's a grumpy old man. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to put a criteria together on what really old is, I would be happy to enter, the, enter a challenge on all of these. As long as it doesn't involve the book club, as at age 53, I don't feel old enough to read yet. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we could get dig. Harper involved on the really old team. Some yeah. advice for Mr. 97, if you are married with kids at 50 plus, you'll be a long way from being financially secure. <laughs> the money drain never ends. Lol, speaking from experience here. Yeah, he's projecting. <laughs> The chances are he'll be still you, you'll be still working for the Gronks and being schooled by Tully and Ash on a regular basis. Mm, Keep up the good work. Looking forward to the Craig Harper episode, Ian. Thank you, hashtag yeah, really yeah. old Gronk squad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ian, and thank you, um, Justin, as well, who's been in the yeah. in the group. It's all that's great. family affair. I like yeah. it. Great. Uh, great. All right, it's a daily talk show. See you tomorrow, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.